Okay, I'm in the Victoria Gallery at the State Library of Victoria, and here we have Ned Kelly's suit of armour. He made four of these suits for each member of the gang. He was the only one that could wear the whole lot. It weighs 90 pounds all up. So, yeah, he was the only one of the four that could wear the lot. There's some writing here. It's a bit. The armour is dinted, a Victorian word for a dent, with bullets. Shot to kill. And is now in possession of Janet Lady Clark. The Lord only knows how or why. An official explanation of the fact would be interesting. The Labour call Melbourne is 17 January 1907. Well, I dare say it's now in possession of the state government. Being here. So, the back. Um, Ned Kelly had 28 bullet wounds. His left arm was virtually severed right in the very beginning of the gun battle and was just hanging off and, and in all the recollections of movies and that they've got him um, firing away with two hands well that didn't happen he only had one hand left he had a, a Colt revolving rifle and that would have been once he'd spent that and his any pistol I believe he had a pistol that was done you know he was felled by Sergeant Nicholson, who ran up from the side and shot him in the knees with 12 gauge, and that ended the battle between Ned Kelly and the traps. And I've always wanted to see this. If if I had to label anyone a hero, it's Ned Kelly, because he stood up to the authorities and didn't take their shit.